We all know the court system is frustrating, so today I'm going to talk to a foster mom about how she dealt with the frustrations of the court system within the foster care system. For foster parents, court is a big deal. Mm -hmm. And so talk to me about the court system and, and overall, like, what do, were you frustrated or, or, or yeah. talk about court? Well, for sure. For one thing, court, it's only scheduled every three months, you know, so there's no quick thing about any of this process, right? So um, when court comes up, I remember in the beginning thinking, oh, good, we're going to have court, we're going to get some answers, right? Things are going to be moving. And that's really not how it goes. First of all, as a foster parent, you really don't get to know anything, right? If you are allowed, you are allowed to go to the court hearings, you know, right now they're, you know, virtual or whatever, but you're allowed to go, but you don't really have input, you know, and a lot of the things are already taken care of behind closed doors with the attorneys and the magistrate. And so if you, when you, you know, I remember going there and like they come in and they talk for like two two to five minutes and then they leave. And I remember walking out and that was another thing when I was glad we had our person from our agency. Mm -hmm. What just happened, you know? And they're like, oh, they're just going to continue it or whatever. You know, it wasn't really like, I thought they'd talk about the case and all that, but that's really not how court goes. Now, there are semi-annual reviews where that's when you can be a part, how the plan's going, give your input, so I definitely would recommend for foster parents to be a part of those, but know that court, you don't really get a lot of answers and it's really just a little bit of info and then oh, I'll see you in three months, right. you know, and you, when you think like something's going to happen, I think that's probably worse because it usually doesn't happen the way you think, even the way like your county worker, you know, I've had situations where they're like, oh, this is going to happen. We're going to be moving forward with this and then court happens and they're like, sometimes they don't even remember they told you that, right? Because they have so many cases and you're like, wait, I thought you said da, da, da. They're like, oh, no, that's not happening. This is happening, you know? And I think that's just across the board with foster parents. It's super frustrating with court. I, I My recommendation is don't put a lot of hope in getting answers just because there's a court date, you know? And I think like, knowing that this whole process is super long and don't think like, oh, there's a court date, so this might be ending here or it might be changing here or whatever. If things change, great, but just in the back of your mind, know that things may just stay the same again for three more months, you know? Lots of foster parents feel like their job is to tell the courts what should happen. And, and so in your opinion, what, what is the role of the foster parent uh, within the court systems? Well, I don't think my answer is going to be very popular. <laughs> but foster parents' role is just to take care of the kids, you know, try to build that relationship with the birth family as well. But the court doesn't look as the foster parent as an advocate for the kids and what's best for them. They just don't. Um, that is the role of, you know, the GAL. And if there is a CASA assigned to the case, they're the ones that the court actually listens to. But as far as a foster parent, like you can share with your GAL, the county worker, things that are going on. But as far as the judge, they don't really listen to the foster parent and how things are going. Your job, you are paid by the county to do a service and that's to care for those kids.